so guys good evening i just wanted to give you a little update about my pregnancy i'm already 38 weeks and then my doctor told me that uh, baby z is coming out this week yeah this week kasi noong last friday weekend we went to hospital for my weekly checkup and then she does induced labor and then ctg to check the heart of my baby and then sorry hinihingal talaga ako so ayun na nga induced labor and ie so yung induced labor na ginawa niya sa akin he uh, ano nga yun um, is sweeping and sweeping membranes she put her finger inside my ano alam niyo na sa lalabasan ni baby and then ginanong ganun niya sobrang sakit but she told me that it really helped me to um do my labor and then para mabilis mag-open yung aking cervix tinatry niyang in-start na niyang i-open and then I after that during uh, sweeping membrane I see some blood coming out there uh, on my below on my on, the, on that and then so I was scared I thought nagbi-bleed na ako talaga na ano lalabas na si baby but hindi pala it's normal kasi she ay na sweeping membrane niya yung ginawa niya may lumabas na blood and then what is it called I think it was um I see some mucus mucus plug coming out there and then until now it says I just 2 to 3 days magbi-bleed ako para kang may menstruation ganon uh, it's not super lakas naman pero ayun magbi ka so it helped me na halabas na si baby I'm expecting to see baby Z this week this week na talaga so hopefully lumabas na siya so both of us could rest and then I am hoping for my safe delivery so yung sa CTG naman ni baby okay naman ayun okay okay naman so mga um false labor lang yung mga na experience ko pero so, sobrang sakit na din last Thursday uh, nag start siya mga 10 p.m. I think un until 3 a.m. Sobrang sakit ng chan ko talaga. Sobrang sakit ng balakang ko. Sobrang sakit ng likod ko. Lahat ng nararamdaman ko masakit that time. So, I thought lalabas na si baby. Pero hindi pa pala siya lalabas. Uh, false, constr false construction. False contraction lang. Ganon. So, ayun nga, noong Friday, kinabukasan, 1 o'clock, um, I've seen my OB, Dr. Hana, para i-check ulit ako. So, ayun, binigyan niya ako ng some option if I will do yung medications for uh, to induce labor or yung ginawa niya sa akin. But she said, mas madali yung ginawa niya sa akin. Yung, ayun nga, yung ganon ganun ganun niya sa loob <laughs> sobrang sakit nun talaga what if pag lumabas pa si baby diba pero she said nga na mabilis makatulong yun sa akin so let's see kung lalabas na si baby this week and then medyo hinihingal nga ako kasi nag exercise ako ng konti konti lang naman uh, kegel exercise and then dito rin sa um maternity ball ko and then I walked outside like 15 minutes only 
kasi sumasakit na yung ko hindi ko na kaya ma maglakad ng matagal I said I will try to walk like um, 30 minutes but nakaka second round pa lang ako inside the compound dito sa area namin sumasakit na yung chan ko so I stopped so I just walk only for 15 minutes I look so tired and my face it's a little bit puffy so ayun so pag pray nyo ako na lumabas na si baby and then both of us maging safe ayun and then honestly na nasa, na <laughs> tatakot ako sa labor kasi masakit yung pain tolerance ko is mababa lang talagang konting sakit lang is naiiyak na ako talaga Oh, sorry, hinihingal talaga ako. Ito si baby. Ayan. Hindi pa siya nalabas until now. 38 weeks. I always talk to her na wag niya akong pahirapan. And always pray din kay God na mag safe delivery kami dalawa. Tulungan niya ako. Especially si baby. Sana healthy si baby. That is the most important. Healthy si baby. Safe si baby. So, ayun, I, I was watching some uh, birth vlog in YouTube channel. I'm getting some ideas on how to deliver the, the baby. But still, I'm scared, a little bit scared. Because I am a first time mom only. And then, ayun nga, masakit. <laughs> Pero, okay lang gumagalaw-galaw si baby. Pero okay lang yun. Pupush ko siya na ipupush hanggang lumabas na si baby. So, right now, nag i ah, ah, nga pala, ah, nag-start na ako ng maternity leave ko. Tomorrow, starting tomorrow, until November yung maternity leave ko actually uh, starting tomorrow hanggang October 23 lang yung uh, tawag rito yung maternity leave ko but I have existing annual leave I will use that para ma-extend yung maternity leave ko kasi ayoko naman ng babiyahi ko everyday si baby sa University, eh mahigit isang buwan pa lang siya nun. Kawawa naman yung anak ko. And I am hoping also na sana mag-open na yung daycare para kasama ko si baby everyday pagpasok sa work. Then lagi ko siyang ma-check. Medyo sumasakit na naman yung chan ko. And then ayan, nag-move na naman si baby. Maka super active niya talaga so active ng batang are ang baby girl ko super active niya sa paggagalaw talaga so ayun I will do my next video kapag nasa hospital na siguro ako my hospital bag is all ready and then nandun lahat yung gamit ko gamit ni baby in case kailangan ng documents nandun na rin yung documents namin mag-asawa and then ayun sabi ko sa asawa ko uh, start na yung leave niya kapag nasa hospital na ako o yung nag-labor na ako kasi konti lang yung leave niya so ayun it's really hard talaga na um tumangangan na ka and then you are far from your family but it's okay, kakayanin ko because I'm strong <laughs> because para kay baby ayun and then ito yung life namin na talaga dito sa Saudi Arabia wala namang magagawa so ayun guys napit ko lang kayo sa aking uh, maternity I mean maternity 
pregnancy vlog and then I am hoping na during my delivery I can do little video at least to share with you my experience as a first time mom for and giving birth so I'll see you on my next video na pagdasal nyo kami ni baby na mabilis lang yung panganganak ko and then safe delivery okay kami ni baby parehas ingat rin po kayo palagi dyan, always pray uh, always wear face masks when you are outside sanitizer alcohol, wash your hands and then kaya mag vitamins kayo lagi so see you on my next video, thank you so much for watching uh don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.